Hello, this is Johnny Lu. Uh, I'm going to do some game playing and let you see about the system. Uh, the game itself, the, the templates have that spring sound. You hear that? Uh, most of the time, the joystick not supposed to have that kind of sound. It sounds like there's a like a spring at the bottom, when you push the button, it springs back up. So, some of them have that kind of sound, like player two does. You hear, and then when, when it springs up, you hear the vibration sound. Uh, uh, this one as well. Okay. The, this thing is wobbling up and down. And if you push too hard toward this way, it doesn't move see so you cannot push hard because when you push hard the, the, the trap ball will not spin so you have to kind of hold it with your finger and spin it so instead of now mine doesn't have a ticking noise anymore uh, I don't know why uh, they told me to open it up and tighten the, the stuff. Uh, that's the advice that from from RK one up. But uh, let me go over this real quick with y'all. Uh, RK one up. Uh, RK, the price right now is. That's the only time you get real loud. After that, the sound is not even loud. I mean, I got it. There's a three level. One is real loud, medium, and then. Mute, okay? Mute mean no sound. But when you turn it all the way up loud, which I have on both of them, the game is not that loud, okay? Uh, this game called Crystal is real hard to play. My wife tried to play it, the trackball. It's not that smooth. Maybe need some baby powder or something in there to make it smoother. It's not that smooth, okay? So, uh, the trackball is not that smooth like I was telling in the first the other video when you want to move all the way across you have to do it three times in order to get to the all the way to the left side you cannot just go and it will not go all the way across okay on the centipede you have to do it three times roll it three times to get to that far to the left uh, this one it delay so the reason it's delayed because if you're using one finger and try to spin it, it gets stuck, it doesn't go. That's my problem with the trackball right now. And not trackball, the spinner. You have to hold it through two fingers and then it will able to play normally. And this one, let's go ahead and demonstrate some of the gameplay and I'll give you what I let you know what I think. When you first started the game, you press this button like you do with this one as a select I mean you select this game to activate the game then you have to play player one and you have to press player one again you know to uh, you know, twice because uh, it's an arcade game and then you start to play Really? Seems like it go faster when you get down to the bottom. When you try to shoot it, it go faster than... Whoa, spider got me. That's the loudest it get. And this is the medium. So the medium loud and the loudest is there much there is not that much difference in sound.
For sure, you don't have to worry about waking up anybody. That's the way I look at it. I didn't even get to first place. I get tired of holding this button. I feel like I have to hold it hard to let it stay up. Ah. Okay, finish the that. You hold the button A, play one, and then you go to the next game. All right, I, this one is the one that um, my wife, so first you select the game, Okay, then you press the player one, then you have to press twice, so, and then the A button to play. This one only jump. It's really hard because the ball doesn't, doesn't go that fast. You have to like really push it really hard to, to even go three of the top. So, It's like it's like you know like the sense of sensitivity of this game of the trackball need to be improved. I wish you could increase the sensitivity of this ball. You cannot. So so you cannot. The gameplay of this trackball it defeat the gameplay of the trackball. Ah. I play better with that little little one that I have than I do with the big one, the centipede. That's sad, okay? Alright. So I don't know that this is a trackball issue or is it an RK issue? Meaning that they won't fix it. <laughs> Okay, there's one more good information I want to share with you. Let's go ahead and press the start the game. It tell you this is Alpha, Delta, Base, and Omega, which I had no idea. Alpha, Delta, yeah. And then player one, player two. Okay, so player one, let it run by itself. Okay, there's no plastic on this old model. Doesn't come shipped with it. Even though the price have dropped down to $75, they will still honor the plastic, which is the A plus, meaning that uh, you have to have the original receipt. When I bought this, Walmart scanned my my uh, receipt, and the lady didn't return my receipt back to me. So I have to go back to Walmart, and it took them an hour, and they still cannot find it. So I went up, had to go get help. Luckily, a system manager happened to walk by, and I was looking for the department manager of the customer service. She's the one who couldn't find it for one hour. Uh, turn out the barcode that they use on, this, on the sale product, the number is all the same, except the last number, they don't use the digit. Like for example, 84, you don't use 84, you use A80S. Or like 94, it doesn't use 94, you use 9S as in sale. So when she trying to find out, find the part number based on the date and my credit card, she couldn't find it because the part number wasn't the same number because the last, last digit, it was an S. So she didn't know that. So the assistant manager, I asked her to go ask for assistant manager. Instead, she asked for another department manager to help her. And she won't tell me who, who, who she asked to help her. Both of them couldn't find it, so make it short. Assistant manager, in about 10 minutes, she found it and put me a receipt. So you need to keep your receipt 
and then you have to take a phone uh, a phone shot. Once you take a, a photo shot, then you send it back to them. Now, I noticed that uh, when you go to uh, RK One Up. Uh, something I need you to let you know is they are selling those items, but if the item is not on sale or is sold out, it's not going to give you a price. It just give you uh, a display. So, for example, if you go to RK One Up and you want to purchase an an item from RK One Up, okay, uh, it's a good idea to sign up account with them. So let me turn on, let me come over here and make sure I'm recording this so you can see it. Uh we go to RK one up. Okay. Uh make sure you sign up with them and so you get notification and and uh you put your address in here and then you could put your stuff from here. Now what is weird is it does not use PayPal or, or Apple Pay because uh when you it, it listed that it's, it's it will let you uh let you use those but uh right now at, at this moment the system uh is not able to so you have to put your own credit card in here and then save it and so you go down you scroll down now one thing is it, uh let you know it doesn't matter what you purchase it the shipping cost for me to united states is 36 dollars so you could buy a whole bunch of stuff, it's still $36. And if you buy just one item, uh, it's still $36. And even though if you're able to add it to your cart, you know, your shopping cart, when you're ready to check out, and the, if an item is out, when you try to check out, that's when it tells you it's out of stock. So don't think that you have it added and you're able to purchase it. Even, even on the system, let's just say, it show you the price and you add it but if it's out of stock when you try to check out it will say out of stock which is kind of weird and it's like well you still allow me to buy it why when i try to purchase it is out of stock so apparently 12 in one uh controller deck is out of stock yesterday it was in stock and street fighter was out of stock and then i'm like really and then uh so once I see it in stock, I went and purchased it because I, I wanted to wait till I add everything and purchase it for one shipping cost, which is $36. Because if you add $100 or $80, it's still $36 for shipping. So of course I want to add more item, but every time I add something in, the other item is out of stock. So that means if I want to buy this controller, which I need to because I already purchased the 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 protection for this one and the PC car. Now, when I ask them, when you buy the controller, does it just come with a wood? Or does it come with a button and everything? It say it come with everything. Now, the other question I forgot to ask is, does it, is it pre-wired? Can I just plug it in and play it? But they say, no, you have to buy the PC, PC board. That part I didn't ask them that way, but to answer that question is no, the PC board is not in there. So you will have to buy the PC board and the cover for it. And I do not know the 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 question is is it come pre wired or is it just a button? Hopefully it have all the button already uh pre wired. But in a way it's kinda of weird. If it's pre wired then it should be plugged into the PC board that control the game. But it doesn't come with PC board. So there's a chance there's no wire inside. It comes with all the button and everything, but there's no wire inside the system. So uh, the lady, I asked her three times. She said, yes, it does come with all the trackball and everything. So I was thinking, well, maybe I could combine those two game systems into one. Because they do sell the game where two of them are in one price for right now $2.99. And I was hoping that it would go down to $1.99. And it, it come with uh, this both of this system come with four games so there's eight game but the one that uh, is 12 in one it come with extra four more game so with this controller and with that PC board I could play 12 game so that's what I want to do I want to modify one of this cabinet into 12 in one you know take the controller out put the one is 12 in one and I might have to take the wire from this side and Combined with that side, 
and that's my game plan and then uh, and then the system doesn't play as well as I hope it will I mean it's a very good uh, display it displayed the system far away it looked very pretty and colorful but this paper is almost the same as the one that I suggest you guys to buy uh, is vital, vital uh, paper Meaning that uh, if your hand is sweaty and and you have something is wet, this is not really waterproof. Meaning that the color will fade out, and that's what happened uh, with the. Uh, this is the it apparently it looked like this is the type of paper they're using. Okay, well, well, even though it say. Uh, it's supposed to be waterproof, but I find out that even a uh, little bit of scratch, like if I have a sharp nail or a sharp object, this paint would come off. It, it, it's not as good as the, the one they use for uh, uh, RK, what's it called an iCat for, for the iCat and this one. There that is. That is, they use a very thick paper. When you peel it, you can feel the paper. And if you have a wet hand, you touch it, it won't mess it up, okay? If you heat it up, it doesn't melt, you can still peel it off, but you still have to, you have to heat it up for a while to able to peel it. This thing have a protection over it on the paint, and you, you don't worry about it getting smushed, okay? Those, you do. Now, this system is the same price as that one, because it is, uh, right now it is $75 before tax and this one right now it is $79 at Walmart and from Target it's also $79 but you could hack this without buying a Raspberry Pi or anything you could hack this and able to play all the Android game like uh, not all the Android latest game because the operating system is a uh, uh, what is it 4 point something 4.0 or 4.04 or something like that so it doesn't have the Android 7 or Android I think the latest one is 7 I believe it doesn't have the latest operating system and it doesn't come with the power so you have to plug into the wall it doesn't come with a, a rechargeable battery like those doesn't come with a rechargeable battery but you could hack this so uh, this is the third one I bought and I want to hack it and uh, change the, the artwork and change the artwork here and change the artwork here and here and those take a little bit longer because I have to measure and have to have the exact cut to create a template so I could print it I just put a design on it and uh, I will have the hole already there so I could just cut it for cut the hole and make it so I want to create this and make it look nice like I did with the uh, the retro arcade that I created on those uh, little 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 one. And I have created this uh retro arcade. I think I just dropped one of my. See, I have created the uh, Street Fighter and using similar paper as they have. Okay, but you have to be careful. Don't put any sharp object until you get uh, the stop protection on it. See, my 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 black is already got scratched because of uh, my nail at the time when I put it on. I didn't cut my nail, so it got scratched, and I and I carry it, it with me a lot, so it got scratches on it. And this is the uh, final fight, uh, which I use a different picture here instead, and it show same like RK one up those uh, four game, and the character on top. So, uh, but see, as if you have sweaty palm, this is what happened. It will happen to this one as well. So, just FYI, but based on the price, uh, I asked them why this is going on sale. I know a lot of people like RK one up, but the sad news is this two cabinet wasn't selling well. And now I know why, because the trackball is not very, very good. You know, the one I bought from uh, uh, 
basic fund or not basic fund the basic fund is from Walmart those little one not the basic fund the the little uh, the little cabinet that I, I purchased for uh, knuckle uh, skull knuckle their system play much better and it is small but it, it play much better than uh, than RK one up okay uh, I'm not trying to make RK one up look bad but that is the fact. I have a templates that actually play better than the than the templates over here. Okay, it only have one game, but it play nice. Okay, uh, the trackball is similar to this one, but this one I don't know doesn't even click. Okay, and my centipede it play very nice. The ball travel very beautifully, but apparently. The one over here does not travel very well. So let me get those two out and show it to you. This is a centipede. I just leave it in my desk the whole time. I just recently charged it today, making sure that all the battery is fully charged. Because you, this both of them will last a week if you don't play it. But after one week, uh, the battery is drained. It doesn't stay uh, stay uh, on. So you have to, uh, oops, I just accidentally pressed power off. You accidentally, uh, you will have to charge it in a in, in few, maybe like a couple hours. And that game sounds louder than, than the one up behind you. And this is centipede. So let's compare the sound wise. Let me let you hear it yourself. This is the templates, and let's try that one over here. Okay, my battery is running low, so I won't be able to record too long. But yes, this template right now, if I was to play player one, The sound is coming from here. Now I'm pressing the one button. I'm just wondering is this the loudest that I have? Okay, that's the sound of this game. And the sound is coming from the back. Okay, so let's put that to the side. And let me see if I could die so I could. Okay, so that game is off the side, and Makia also light up. Okay, that Makia doesn't light up. But this one cost me like a $113, which is not bad. All right, this one is $75. Now, I'm gonna start the game now. Press one player, and 
button. This is the loudest. And the speaker is in the front. You are actually down, you cannot really spin like this. See, the spinning does not work. You cannot use one finger to spin it. You have to uh, turn it. But it's not, it's not that loud. If you try to spin it like this, see, it, it gets stuck. See, right now it got stuck. If you push it hard on one finger, it, it see, now it's stuck. So you cannot do it with one finger. You have to do it with two fingers in order to play this game. So if you try to press it one finger, this thing will get stuck. It doesn't. It, now this is the part that I get confused last time. I have to use this side to change the. You can't use the. Oh, you could use the word C A J K L I U All right, third place. Okay, so the sound on this one is sound like that. So it's not very loud. Okay, let's do the centipede real quick, and then we call for the game. Okay, here's the centipede, and this is uh, the loudest it get. So let's try to see how loud this game play. This trackball does not make any kind of sound like the other one has, and it's very smooth. The sens sensitivity, you could adjust it. The the one RK one up, you can adjust the sens sensitivity of the trackball. I think that it need to be adjusted to be uh, so that it will move more. That's the, the loudest of the, the game. Sorry, that wasn't the loudest. Now it's the loudest. And the speaker is facing behind us. It's not facing in front of us. So when I talk, I have to raise my voice because it's pretty loud. All right, let's power it off. Okay. So now let's go and and and, uh, and that also mark here light up too. Okay. Now let's try this one. This one. I have it all way up to the maximum. Let's put, uh, let's hold this and go to the... Uh...
Let's go to the centipede again, so we got something to compare with. They both are arcade. One is arcade mini, okay, and arcade mini seem to be louder than. Oh. See, that's the loudest. The sensitivity of this ball is not that sensitive. But compared to joystick, it's better than playing the joystick for sure. But it's just the sensitivity is not that great. It, but it's better than the trackball. The trackball, when you when you spin it, it, it gets stuck. When you're using one finger, it gets stuck. So you have to actually uh, dial it like turn it with two fingers. You cannot you cannot spin it like a it's a, like a spinner. It's, it's not a spinner. Bottom line is just not a spinner. It's not that long. All right. Thank you for watching. Hope this helped. Uh, my battery is running low on the recording, but that's my. Uh, my conclusion on the RK one up, uh, it's not that tall. If you can see, I'm five feet six, and I have to arch down a little bit to play the game. And when you sit on the chair, the regular chair, not the not the stool for making for RK, you have you can't really sit up straight because your arm is not ninety degree, so you have to kind of arch. The, back so you need a little bit lower chair a regular table chair or a desk chair is a little bit too high for rk one up and for sure it's way too low see my hand straight down is way too low for me to touch it so i have to bend forward to play the game and i'm only five feet six okay so see that my hand is straight and I, i'm not I'm barely touching it. Okay, so that's the size of the RK. And when you look at side view, uh, that one, this, just that one, when you look sideways, it's not that clear. The top is, and left and bottom is good. This one, uh, sideway, top, top is clear. Bottom is not that clear. Left is, right side is okay. Left side is okay. So this one is opposite. This one, when you look from the bottom up, is is not that clear. You can't see it. This one, if you look sideways, it's not that clear. But from the top, the color is good. From the right, the color is good. And from the top, the color is good. So not all direction. Look, this side, this direction is not clear. This one is the bottom direction is not clear. So. I rather have the bottom direction not clear because nobody played anything lower than this. <laughs> you know, if you if you that small you can't touch this, you can you shouldn't be playing. So overall this screen probably a little bit better than this one, but this one came with a lot of scratches, about six scratches on it. And this one have the kind of the the the, the screen on the front is kind of have smudge line on it that it won't come off. If you turn it on, you can't see it, but when you turn off, you could see it. Okay, you have that wavy line like this. It's like the maybe you leave it outside in the sun too long, the plastic is kind of melted for some reason, and it's like this. You gotta realize this. This has been sitting around for one year, and nobody buying it. The price dropped down to seventy five because uh, the person, I said, why did they drop the price? You know, it sounds something special. He said no because it's been sitting there forever and they're finally trying to get rid of it you know he say the final fight and the uh, more compact they sell well but this two model they don't sell well so that's why they are dropping the price so i won't be surprised that the other the other model will price be dropped final fight and more compact have dropped 50 dollars by the way you could get it for two 250 on some of the walmart so what you do is you, you go to walmart.com search for Walmart and then you're going to select the the option called the uh, what you call it to pick up if you select to pick up they will 
uh, the option to pick up they will they will list the the price different prices so let's see if our battery is still working okay still recording so that's good so for example you go to walmart and you search for uh rk1 up which i already have okay and it will list all the all the different prices okay but don't let it fool you because if you list it two two ninety nine, you go ahead and press it in, okay? But don't say uh ship, choose uh option to pick up. So when you go to the option to pick up right here, it say uh pick up available. You choose the option to pick up. When you choose that option, it's gonna list all the different store prices. Not all the Walmart prices are the same. Oh come on, that's low. And Police policy guideline. What did I press? I pressed something else. Let me go back. I press something else. Okay, uh pickup option. Okay, see that? This one listed for 250. This one listed for 299. But in the main site before you come in here, it was listed as 299. But look at that, 250. So so you have to go to the store buy it you cannot order directly from internet so let me give you another example same thing with final fight there's 250 also and this one is already low down to 249 the main site from the rk one up they already bring the price down for example centipede okay uh asteroid you click on that it listed for 199 okay 199 used to be 299 okay so you go down and you go to uh pick up don't say deliver go pick up option okay when you go uh, press the one one again pick up option okay see that they're still selling it now, my location $75 it's two location $75 and the 1960 north and 529 location they're both still selling it for $75 this one also north freeway $75 but if you notice uh this one also sell for seventy five dollar okay this one is selling for seventy five dollar wow all my location this game system is selling for seventy five dollar throughout the whole thing but if you go to order from pickup not from pickup but from the from the main website you're not gonna see that you're gonna see it one ninety nine okay so asteroid and centipede right now is selling for seventy five dollar and what i'm what I suggest to do is Buy it, and then go to RK One Up and buy the Street Fighter joystick. Take this out, put the Street Fighter joystick on it. Put, go to ET Prime. He will show you how to make this to a uh, Raspberry Pi RK RK system. So you could do that. Uh, this one I I I mean, this one I went and upgrade to a Raspberry Pi. So you have Raspberry Pi, you use all the buttons the same, but inside is a Raspberry Pi. So, see, inside have uh, the case of Raspberry Pi. It's not, it's not the regular standard uh, uh, retro arcade. And this uh, is also selling around like 50, or some of them might be 70. Uh, if you could get it for 50, it's a good price. Uh, so this is 75, so you could take that, use the same screen you will have to pay uh, $25 for the joystick and a $12 90 something for the cover and the shipping cost will cost you $36 so roughly by me changing this to a Raspberry, Do Raspberry Pi it's gonna cost me another $200 on top of this okay $200 but that's not counting the Raspberry Pi so roughly $250 plus 75 roughly 300 dollars something so to make this uh, well not 300 almost not quite okay and then you can make it to a raspberry pi so look like this screen is longer than that screen i think it's because the black line on it so i did not measure that a lot of people if you was to buy it for rk you might want to use this one because this screen is more this one is more longer, I believe. See, the RK sign is slow, lower. So this is more horizontal, and this is more regular square. So 
if you want to make it to a raspberry, you might want to use the asteroid. Right now, asteroid have a lot on sale. Centipede is more popular because of the trackball. It doesn't have as much issue as the spinner. So a lot of people are buying this one more than they do with this one. See, this one wobble. Okay, all right, hopefully this help, this information helps. So that will help you find the, the RK one up you're looking for. And uh, good luck and thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.